Welcome to Creative Tian Channel. Today we have a fingerless mitten project on an LK150 knitting machine. This is a pretty minimal look and the construction is super simple. We are just using hand manipulated ribbon for the whole project. If you want, you can add a thumb piece. It's basically a triangle shape. You start with casting on the stitches you like and then decrease on both sides to form the triangle. After it's kneaded, we can just sew it on to the fingerless mitten. For this project, I'm using the Young Bee Soft and Sleek. I believe I got it from Hobby Lobby. So for cast on, I start from the left 20 to right 23. And this is for average size adult or average female. For the tension, I have tension 4. And I'm going to do every fourth stitch. So there will be three stitches in between. This will be the reforming stitches. I'm going to reform them to pearl stitches. I'm going to do e wrap cast down and knit 40 rows. I'm starting from this side, so I will need 40 rows and just reform the ribbon. Now we hand the weight. I'm just going to need 40 rows, tension 4. Now I have 40 rows. I'm going to take down the weight and starting to do the reform. I'm going to use this tool starting from the fourth stitch on the left side. I just push all the way and pull all the way back. You will drop the stitch. We drop it all the way down. You can add some weight in the center and we just unravel it all the way to the bottom. Now we pick up the first line and twist it to form a loop and then pick up the second line place inside the hook and pull and we just keep going the next place it inside the hook and pull It will be a little bit strange at the beginning, but once you get used to it, it can go pretty quick. After the last stitch, just place it back to the hook. Now we are done with this column and we continue doing that the fourth stitch. So there are three stitches in between. Drop it. Pick up the last stitch. Make a turn. Now it creates a loop. And we just continue. Pick up the next one. Place the first loop outside the hook and the new yarn will be inside the hook and pull. And try to keep the stitch in the center of the line so it looks more even. Now we just finish all the ribbing. We'll continue to do the wrist part. And for the wrist, I want 20 rows. You can adjust it if you want it longer or shorter. So after 20 rows, I'm going to reform again. But this time we'll reform more stitches. We will continue to reform those stitches and we will add one stitch in between. 
we'll add some weight and then knead 20 rows after the 20 rows I will continue reforming the stitches plus one extra rows in between I finished the first reforming row and I'm going to add one more here so I will drop the second stitch and then we skip one stitch we drop the next stitch as you continue this line And then we skip one stitch again and drop the yarn. After the reforming, we just need to bind off. I'm going to use sewing bind off. I will cut a long piece of yarn tail and then bind off on the machine. My yarn is on the right, so I will start from the right side. I go to the second stitch from the back and then back to the first stitch from the front and then I go to the new stitch that's the third stitch from back to the front and then go to the old stitch the second stitch from to the back And we'll just keep repeating that the new stitch from back to the front old stitch from to the back this bind off can be more flexible because we want to make sure it can expand and fit our hand now I finish the binding I'm just going to take it of the needle you can decide which side you want to be the right side I like the texture of this side the ribbon you can tell the different ribbon here you may just need to sew up the sides and leave a hole for the thumb and that will be it you can also add a thumb piece but that's optional I hope you like today's project. Thank you for watching and see you next time.